Hey, Budget, that's you? What's up? Hey, what's up, Budget? I've been trying to cut back on you, man, but every time I see you, you attacking me, man. What's up with that? Oh, oh, you want to throw your motherfucking hands? Mayweather on him, dog. Oh, oh, Seven Brown Mayweather, he getting tired. I'm attacking out Budget like it's crazy. Budget down. Hey, Ross World, my money makes money. You know, I don't know if y'all saw that shitty-ass fight that budget put up with me, but I realize your budget will attack you, but you have to attack your budget back. This is the thing. We're looking at all our expenses, all our bills, and all our income that's coming in, all our income, <laughs> it's not that much. And we look at it, but we're trying to figure out where do I cut back? But you are fighting against your budget, but you control your budget. Budget down attack your budget. Your budget is your subconscious mind telling you you want to keep the most expensive cable TV. You want to keep the most expensive cell phone plan. You want to put the best gas in your car. Now you know your Honda Accord, your Honda Civic, whatever it may be, your Hyundai, your Kia, your Mercedes. Well, Mercedes and BMW, they tell you premium gas only. Yeah, this go to maybe a cheap one, but then you say it don't run right if it's not Chevron or Shell, then so be it. But for those with sensible cars, or you have your little weak car, your little go buggy, your little bucket, okay, your little beater, then why are you putting mid-grade in there? Why are you putting premium in there? Put the lowest gas that you come in. You have to budget down. You have to attack your budget. You have to attack your budget in all senses, in all ways different attack avenues. You can't just attack it straight on. You got to hit it from the side. Strategic attacks, okay? Planned out attacks. Yes, think about it. I want you to think about it. You're like, oh, I'm trying to eat healthy. I'm trying to do all these things. You're like, he's sweating his ass off. Yes, because it's hard work defeating your subconscious mind because you want to attack something that's killing your savings and investing is killing your livelihood. You like, you gave me a stock challenge. You gave me a $1,000 challenges. And guess what? More challenges are coming, but we can't do none of this if we don't budget down, if we don't attack our budget. I want you to really think about this. I want you to really think about this. I want you to aggressively get your computer, get your laptop, get your pen and your pencil. Whatever way you like to do your things, how you do your bills, envelopes, it doesn't matter. All methods work. Choose one that works for you. But all of them work. It just depends on the person. You cannot continue to live the way you're living. You can't. You want the best of the best of the best. Let's get back on the food. You want everything organic. You know that's silly. Okay, first and foremost, some things, they just put organic on it and they're not really organic or they already come organic. Then you want everything to be GMO free, gluten free, paraben free, 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 free. Are we serious? Are we serious? L let me tell you the rule of thumb. Let me tell you the rule of thumb. Yes, they spray harmful pesticides on food, on veggies, on fruits, and you want organic. You don't want no pesticides. I got it. Here, here's one. Grow your own stuff. Am I growing my own stuff? No. My yard is, wee. it ain't that big. It's not that big. But there's different avenues to attack this budget. There are. You have something that you swore to yourself. You ingrained in yourself your weekly or daily regimen of something you simply can't go without. And it accumulates to be a big price or it's just expensive within itself. Can I tell you something? I'm going to tell you a secret. You can live without it. Yes, you can. That's what Obama said. He said, yes, I can. Yes, we can. So we can. I know, different topic, same meaning. Apply it. I'm getting on these things because I like the excuses. Keyword, excuses. Not the reasons. Reasons. The reasons off of it. I like the excuses that because it tells me that your subconscious mind is getting the best of you. See, the reason why I'm out of breath, the reason why I'm sweating and stinking is because I said I'm going to attack this thing. And believe it or not, when you're dealing with something 
psychologically that you actually control, it beats the crap out of you until you start fighting back. When you attack your budget, when you try to aggressively to budget down and get, get out of debt, when you aggressively go into savings, and when you conservatively, conservatively start to invest because you're a beginner, you begin to take hold of your life back. You begin to regain a sense of control of your own life. Right now, you have no control because you haven't budgeted down. You have not attacked your budget. What am I talking about, Ross World? I'm talking about when you're going over your bills or automatically coming out and you say, well, that was the last bill to come out. And you're looking at your account like, where am I going to get this money from? I don't have no money to do anything. I have just enough to pay my bills and give me an ice cold lemonade. And that is your perk for the week. No, 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 no. But if I come over your house, you got all the nice furniture. You got all the nice decorative statues and pictures and curtains and rods and all that things. You have all the nice stuff. Everything in your stuff is Moore's or Ashley's or gold and stuff. And you shop at the most shopping spree store, shopping spree store. You shop at the most expensive mall, okay? You don't go where Ross World go. I'm going to tell you where I go to get some of my <laughs> fly wear. Yeah, fly. <laughs> Marshalls, Coles, and believe it or not, those stores are kind of expensive. Burlington's. Ross, of course I go to Ross, Ross World, you, you get the correlation. No, I don't own it. I wish. All these stores are discounted. Let me tell you how frugal I am. And you can use the word cheap to get a chuckle, but I'm going to tell you how frugal I am sometimes. I will go to these stores and I will go to the clearance rack. I will go to Ross and like, where's the clearance rack? I will go to Burnson's, where's the clearance rack? That's what I'll do. I don't care about name brands. Now, granted, when it comes to the Giants, I'm getting it, okay? Yeah. But that's this sports paraphernalia. Listen, listen. Only thing this video is meant to do is tell you to think outside of your budget and order ways to conquer your budget so you budget down and you're attacking and you're free of money. You don't need the most expensive everything. You probably just need basic TV with Netflix. You probably need no TV, just internet, Netflix, and Hulu. You probably need to get rid of Netflix, Hulu, basic TV, and get Cody. Get a Fire Stick. Get an Android TV box and load it. Or maybe download Terrarium TV. TerrariumTV.co. Go down there. You download it. As long as you have an Android phone or some sort of Android device. Sorry, Apple users. You got Apple. That's what you get. And you pay absolutely nothing. I don't pay for TV. I pay for internet. Yes, I splurge on internet because I do everything on the internet. I pay for like 150 megabytes per second. But I don't pay for Hulu. I don't pay for Netflix. I don't pay for cable television. I use Terrarium TV and I use Kodi in conjunction. If it's not on one or the other then I suffer, but everything is on these two devices and hopefully they don't shut them down because as you know, I know I'm getting off topic, stay with me. They were trying to shut down Cody, but Cody is coming back, so don't worry. And guess what? If you don't know what I'm talking about, type up K-O-D-I on YouTube or Google and they'll sell all these different devices, either preloaded or loaded yourself. And in order to do any of this information, like you wanna load your Fire Stick, it's on YouTube. So go research. It's going to save you tons and tons and tons and tons of money. I'm using Cody for almost three years now. Free. Anyway, I'm off it. Budget down. Attack your budget. This is Ross World, where a little sweat and a fight. Shout out goes out to Mayweather for wearing him down. Conor McGregor did a really good job in the first couple of rounds. But a seasoned vet like Mayweather, the only thing he did was duck, weed, power shot, power shot. From the seventh round to the tenth round, budget down and knock out your budget. Just like Mayweather, TKO, Conor McGregor. Mayweather, at the post-fight question and answer, did you hear what he said when they were talking about the uh, the money team fighters? They said, hey, what are the information and advice that you're giving the money team fighters? The first thing that came out of his mouth, correct me if I'm wrong, he said he's teaching them how to invest now. 
You know Mayweather, when he was young, dumb, and stupid, he didn't care what he said. Now he's been on a brand with a business, and he's telling his young fighters, because he's a billion-dollar man now, he's telling his young fighters, don't worry about fighting. Train hard, fight hard, win. But the main thing I want them to take away is invest their money. I'm out.